The high winds that we saw late Tuesday were associated with something called a wake low. And you might say, what is a wake low? Here is the setup for a wake low. You have an area of showers and storms, rain continuing to move south. And behind the line of showers and storms, there's a small area of high pressure that builds. Behind the high in a wake low setup, you begin to see an area of low pressure corresponding where the air is sinking and warming. And often this setup is about 30 to 50 or so miles behind where the leading edge of showers and storms is. When you get this kind of setup where you have high pressure right up next to an area of low pressure, you're going to see high winds because the air begins to rush from where there's high pressure to where there's low pressure trying to even out and the winds can reach their, reach their peak speeds wherever the low pressure is located, the center of the low. So this creates strong wind gusts. That's what wake lows are known for behind a rain event. And that's certainly what we saw late Tuesday evening. With wake lows, you can see wind gusts up to 60, 70 plus miles per hour. And this is the setup that we did have in South Louisiana and off our coast on Tuesday evening.